So once again, I've had to make a payment for something using using pieces of paper in this digital age. Um, so I've been asked to show you today um, a quick way that you can process transactions on behalf of your customers and your company in a simple, easy, quick, friction-free way. So let's have a quick look today at um, Apple Pay and how an integrated Apple Pay solution can provide payments very, very quickly. So let's log on to the application, locate the customer's account. I've got, say for example, Mr. Campbell on the phone. So I'm going to find their account details by searching um, for their name and or address or reference number. I've got Mr. Campbell on screen. He's got an outstanding balance of 900 pounds and he'd like to pay um, an initial payment today of 130 pounds against that balance. As you can see on screen, I have um, both the client's email address and telephone number already stored, but it wouldn't take me a second to get that if I needed that information. Now at this point, I'm going to press the payments button, which takes me through to a method of payment selection screen. I have a summary there that shows exactly what the payment's for and what the amount is. I can go in and edit or change if I need to, or remove if the customer changes their mind. But I'm now about to give them choice. They want to make a payment. They don't want to give me the card details over the phone because it's inappropriate, it's slow, time consuming and provides friction. So what I'm going to do is send Mr. Campbell a link via email and or SMS whilst I'm speaking to him on the phone. Now this is a link that Mr. Campbell is expecting. So on the consumer's phone, as you can see, it's just popped up there, they will get a quick message. So they can log on to their phone by pressing the message. They can use biometrics or a passcode to log on. I'm gonna use Face ID, that's got me straight in. And that's provided me with a link that I'd ask the customer to press. And they were expecting this, remember, so it is not a phishing message. So they click on that link and that will then present them a summary of what we've just talked about, including the payment amount of 130 pounds, what the vendor is and their account details, email address, telephone number, the whole kit and caboodle. So you can give them assurance that this is a secure way of making a payment. Once they're happy with that, they press the pay now button. That will then present them a number of options based on your choice as an organization or merchant. So I can scroll down and have a look, see if I can find my favorite um, PayPal. No, not today. Ah, there we go, Apple Pay. So I select that, that will provide me the Apple Pay user interface. So I can select with the card, uh, or account I wish the payment to be made from. And then once again, using biometrics, facial recognition, or my fingerprints, I can complete the transaction. So as a consumer, that was very, very quick. And as far as the merchant is concerned, they will see that transaction process within seconds of the transaction completing, summarize the transaction information on screen. The system will have already sent an email directly through to the customer with their receipt, but if you want to send a secondary one, we can do that. We can show additional information on screen. You know, you could even, although it's not carbon friendly, print off a copy for their records if they demand that to be posted off. You can print that off, that's fine. But nowadays, emails, SMS receipts are usually absolutely fine. And that's a quick way of processing payments very quickly very quickly on a morning for your organization. So what I will say is, come on, jump up. Pepper wants to agree that Apple Pay and things like pay by bank are the quick way to transact sort of hands-free when your hands are busy doing other things, you can pick up your phone and transact very, very quickly. I best let her go. She doesn't want to pay. See you next time. Bye-bye now.